Hello, Cancer Science. So in your pre-shuffle, you have got the feminine card coming out as in an important message for you guys this week is to embrace your femininity regardless of your gender. This is all about that nurturing, loving, compassionate, powerful uh, side of yourself, one that is intuitive and in tune with your body and the world around you. Okay, so super important stuff. This says, I allow my feminine nature to shine brightly as a valuable part of my identity. All right, my angels, let's dive into the rest of your reading. Let's see what other messages are important for you guys this week. This is a really good time to just really focus on your overall well-being and treating yourself nicely as well, okay? Some of you could be like changing your appearance a little bit here or, you know, just embracing your femininity whatever that means to you so you have co-create so you guys are manifesting something uh this is always a card that always looks like i'm interrupting a meeting between you and uh, spirit here spirit being the owl you are the cheetah here and you guys are co-creating to turn this egg representing a new beginning in your life something that will hatch later on um kind of aligning that to you you can see that egg here has got the same print as that cheater or the leopard over here whatever it is and that's you so i feel like you're entering you're going to be entering a very ambitious um chapter of your life but right now you're trying to get clear and work with maybe pray to spirit to bring that together let's see what else goes on here now it's number 40 and i feel like pointing that out randomly just because number four represents foundations to me so you guys could again be working on your foundations all right, co-creating with spirit to turn something into your own. Let's see. For cancer signs, please spirit this week. You have the world. The world is your oyster, cancer. This is you looking into the world, figuring out where you want to go moving forward. This always reminds me of the two of wands, which is a card of expansion, looking into the horizons and wondering what you want to do with your life. So for a lot of you, you could be doing that this week. Again, a lot of this is like planning and preparation could be important for you guys this week as well. Now, for a lot of you, you could be trying to figure out this week as well, maybe feeling more inspired is what they're trying to say. You, you might be feeling more inspired to have a positive impact in the world in some ways, so whether you're changing your certain habits in a way, like, um, like maybe you guys are... I don't know, giving to charity in a way, or maybe you guys are deciding to, I don't know, is they're showing me like charitable work and there's something in particular they're trying to show me and I'm not getting it. <laughs> but it's almost like... um. Anyway, you could be doing things, making a better impact on the environment. So whether you're just choosing um, clothing stores that have a better, you know, Im like impact on the people who work for them. And I don't know, it's like your choices are really, and they're saying that's a part of the feminine, which is interesting because uh, Mother Earth is feminine, right? No, right? <laughs> the creator, right? Nurturing, bringing life. That's all that feminine energy. So that feels like, like, symbolism for what you guys are stepping into so regardless of your gender again like it's like you're bringing something to life that's a part of stepping into your feminine energy nurturing something whilst it's being created and they're showing me like a mother has to go through like um almost some sort of like they're showing me like the birthing process i'm sorry but like it's like <laughs> where you're going through a lot of like almost sacrifice in a way to bring something to life so i don't know what that means anyway uh moving away from that cancer it just feels like you're looking into the water wondering what impact can you have on it you know whether it's just helping people in some way whether it's spiritual coaching whether it's like helping the environment and going towards more environmental things or again changing your habits for the environment maybe you're reducing plastics like that's the kind of thing that i'm seeing for some reason going vegan i don't know like what are you doing <laughs> but you're looking at your maybe your footprint on the world and figuring out whether you can improve it in some way don't know but there's a lot of pr planning going on here anyways <laughs> regardless of all of that stuff so looking out into the world now if you remember or if you know in the normal tarot deck this card has been coming up for everybody um but in the normal tarot deck the world is also about new beginnings and new cycles so for a lot of you it can also resonate in that way too and gratitude love that and acceptance all right something you have to accept around this time let's see 
So you have destiny coming through. So you guys are aligning to some kind of destiny here, which I love. When it comes down to soulmates around you, if you're in a relationship or looking for one, the destiny card uh, usually comes up. The story behind it, should I say, is these two people are begging <laughs> these guides to reincarnate into this life together. So I always say when this card comes up, if you are in a, in a relationship with somebody or even if it's a friendship, like whoever you think about when i'm saying this this person is uh you have met them before in another lifetime and you both decided to come back again to reincarnate together okay so that's so cute um what else make, even if you're single you could be meeting somebody as well coming through this week or or um a friend again um another thing i want to say about this actually that i i never really mentioned so the fact it's coming up in your reading could be important is like these they asked this one person first and they're not accepting no for an answer because they really do believe they have value in some way in the ne next lifetime so for you guys just bear with me i'm explaining the story long story short cancer don't always just accept the first first answer that you get maybe there is somebody else that you can speak to during this week that might understand your mission a bit better let's say this is a business pro project right um one person may say no cancel that's not a good idea and i'm not going to invest in it but like you could ask ask somebody else and they're like yeah of course you can have that you know it's almost like don't just always accept the first thing like if you really feel like something's part of your destiny then that's fighting for it is what it feels like um especially if this is something you're co-creating anyways aside from all this uh, uh, aside from all this about your destiny you also have gratitude here so a really good and important thing to do around this week again is stepping into that feminine energy of like nurturing and loving the people that you have around you stepping into your feelings and emotions of gratitude and thinking about all the things that you have around you that you're grateful for is important this week as well and we have acceptance here so there might be something that we meet what that we meet, might need oh my god i can't speak every time i turn the camera on i feel like i get like my tongue gets tied but there might be something that you have to accept this week and i'm not sure exactly what it is just yet so we'll, we'll wait um but if you already have something in mind and it could be that all right let's see a little bit more for the cancer signs please spirit feel free to be free has also been coming up for everybody as well so i wonder if what's going on in the collective this says free yourself and let go you can be who you want to be and express yourself you have balance coming through here things are balancing out equal give and take and find your balance and one more for cancer signs let's see what that is it's abundance love that rich inside out generous money flow prosperity is on its way so you could be working on something with the universe to bring in more abundance into your life it's coming up underneath acceptance so maybe there is about um that is about like accepting that you have or can have abundance already inside you before you have it outside of yourself first you know <laughs> um yeah so rich inside out okay interesting right let's dive into your tarot my angels let's see what's going on over here for cancer signs the overall energy for this week please spirit one card a temperance all right bringing balance and harmony into your world okay so this is about balancing your feelings your emotions it's about being patient along the way some of you do need to take some time out to prioritize your health and your well-being okay to make sure that you're nurturing that first and finding a balance within that first before you move on ahead and move forward again like there is this um it's like you're almost having to be in this feminine energy before you're able to be in a masculine energy which is interesting because this cheater um reminds me of another cheater in the deck where it's like chasing after your dreams and goals it's about going the distance so right now you're finding clarity you're nurturing yourself healing yourself maybe taking some time out for yourself because sometimes temperance is about that it's a pit stop you know how cars need their tires changing and fuel filled up in between the race that's what it feels like so embracing in this energy so that you can then move forward with maybe more clarity, more inner balance, more emotional balance and stability and just more peace. Okay, moving forward so that you can have that sun in the background here, which is all about happiness and that dream and that goal and success. That's what it feels like. So right now you are balancing. <laughs> right now you're having to be patient and to yeah, bring things into a balance here. Right, let's see what else is going on here 
for the Cancerians, why is Temperance their overall energy for this week? Hmm. Okay. Balance came out. Sorry. The moon came out on top of balance. So for some of you, again, this could be like needing to balance your feelings and emotions. The King of Swords is over here with the Wald, which is an interesting one because the King of Swords, I mean, it could represent a person around you who might not be in your life anymore. And this could be something that you're trying to um, deal with for some of you. Now, for others of you, the King of Swords reversed. Hmm. Usually it's all about clarity and logic. It's Aquarius energy. And the moon here. Maybe you guys have or been around people or have been to yourself a little bit like overly logical. Um, and maybe this is why this week you're being called to kind of step back into the feminine energy and not just think about it's like King of Souls is kind of cold and detached and it feels like this way of being has created created the moon which is kind of like our feelings are being suppressed and we're not being looked at like the moon represents the shadow right it's the nighttime where things are hidden things are done in the dark and this is why they're calling for balance here and it jumped on top of the world if you saw it with the King of Swords so for some of you it might need to kind of restart something this week specifically with maybe how we're dealing with feelings and emotions and like we said with the temperance it does feel like you're balancing something maybe there's reconciliation coming here somebody may have had some like lashed out in a way and you know, really kind of wasn't not themselves uh, but it's coming because of some moon energy some suppressed feelings now if this is you again it does feel like maybe you are detaching from the world a little bit here so that you can again find some balance in your feelings and emotions and that could be something that's important maybe going ghost a little bit here interesting interesting combination now just be aware of this energy again temperance says to go slow and go easy because sometimes with this kind of combination with the king of souls reverse there's a lack of clarity and the moon really is about distortion and illusion so just pay attention to things that might be hidden from you that's why they're asking you to go slow right anything else that i get here from my lovely cancerians what's going on in their energy please spirit i know this is like really messing with my head how messy this is for cancer signs for their energy for this week please spirit mm. uh, ace of pentacles love that so you could be signing uh i don't know what i'm hearing signing a contract or you guys could be getting or pushing yourself out there to get maybe some sort of financial opportunity because the knight of swords is also in your energy did you see how it jumped on top of destiny as well when i was saying how don't just accept the first answer that you get some of you need a second opinion some of you need to ask somebody else and not just accept defeat here um but with the knight of souls and the ace of pentacles it does look like you guys are really putting pressure on something or someone um to get some sort of financial opportunity here or maybe that's your advice but knight of souls ace of pentacles really really good for finding an opportunity maybe you guys are restarting something it does feel like that's a weird message that keeps coming up you're restarting something to get this opportunity though ace of pentacles is a great sign again good uh, new career uh, some sort of asset in your life uh, maybe it's some sort of investment in a way um, or a new stream of income as well okay knight of swords you're determined to get it that's why i jumped on top of this some of you know that something is within your destiny which is why they're saying do not accept just any old answer ask again <laughs> putting pressure on something can you clarify this for cancer's energy the high priestess so again it's following your gut instincts and your intuition here the five of cups yeah because some of you feel with the five of cups here it does feel like there's some disappointment but you're it's like i don't know and your reading is a bit weird but like it feels like you know there's something supposed to happen and maybe you get met with a you know maybe somebody who's a bit cold and says no to you and they're like don't accept that like don't just accept defeat here like don't dwell on it like let's go and ask somebody else push it whatever this goal is maybe it is an abundance like the ace of pentacles feels like that's what you're after here a job again whatever it is to you okay but that knight of swords it feels like somebody might reject it and maybe that's where feelings will come up here whatever it is the high priestess is wanting you to remember what your intuition is saying to you R remind yourself of what it's saying to you because something is within your destiny 
So again, like whether you just have to, again, kind of put pressure on something or someone or, you know, I don't know. It's really, I've never got a message like that before. But the thing to follow your gut instincts and your inner guidance. Don't just accept that disappointment here. All right. Interesting. Very interesting. Never got a message like that. But it's like you and spirit are planned together that something's going to work out for you. And it feels like something's blocked that because somebody's grumpy or, you know, it feels like, um, but like put pressure on it like that's not permanent like I feel like there is some pressure you can put on something <laughs> like no offense like to whoever is in the wrath of cancer signs um or again putting pressure on that dream and goal and maybe on yourself a little bit to get it is going to help in some way interesting not, not too much pressure on yourself but it's almost like just don't give up all right, let's see what's going on in the t uh, in the area of a challenge or an obstacle around this time this week for cancer signs. Challenge or blockage, king of cups. So it's to do with your feelings and emotions, which makes sense. We have the moon here. So it's like it feels hard to resurface. You know, the moon is all about feeling. Um, the imagery is quite important here because she's literally like overwhelmed with her feelings and emotions. It's literally consuming her. The King of Cups is all about rising above it and, and kind of staying above the feelings, understanding them. He is a master of his feelings. He knows them inside and out, but he doesn't allow them to control him or his decision making. So for some of you, that is the case for you. Now, King of Cups can also represent somebody around you. Usually it's like a love interest. Somebody has feelings for you, but that's in your challenge or blockage position. And I wonder why. So let's clarify why is the king of cups here the star why is this a blockage or a challenge the strength so it's more of a challenge than a blockage whatever this is if it's emotional maturity that you're wanting or your feelings to be intact and balanced or whether it's a person in your life the star card and the strength card are really good signs that this is going to happen it's just a challenge for you to um whether it's if it's a relationship for example maybe you guys are working a certain dream together or to build a stronger foundation with one another and that could be the challenge at the moment right it's not easy but it's a challenge maybe being grateful more grateful for each other and balancing your energies could be helpful here maybe finding a plan together to co-create despite your differences to find clarity on a on a goal for some of you like very random but that's what i'm getting here because the star is also about a goal. So some of you need to get more aligned with the people around you if that is a person around you. Now, for those of you who don't resonate with that, just because I need to split the groups up a little bit, for those of you who are single or, you know, it's a problem, it's an issue outside of a relationship and it's about emotional maturity and staying on top of your feelings, the strength card is a really good sign that whatever you're doing this week, it's working. I always see this card as a rock, right? So it's like a foundation. It's like st stable, it's grounded. So I feel like you're working on your you're you're that <laughs> you're working on that and that's your wish fulfillment that's your goal it can also be about healing as well healing something so you can rise above the challenges and the difficult feelings that might be coming up at this time right let's dive into your external your external world for cancer signs please spirit eight of cups so that's interesting you could be having to leave certain situations behind that just don't serve you in your environment here the nine of swords is here the five of wands is here so this could be like conflicting environments or this can be mental conflict that you're having to walk away from as well or things that create that for yourself ultimately the eight of cups are things that just don't serve you they're not going to work towards your fulfillment later down the road so right eight of cups why is this here in the external environment for cancer signs this week ten of wands so yeah some of you are definitely deciding to pack up your bags and uh, go somewhere else <laughs> of course this can also be metaphorically but ten of wands is like really letting go a very difficult and challenging journey and the four is like having almost i feel like some of you might really be releasing a lot of baggage you know whether it's literally like emotionally letting go of things or just uh, this doesn't serve me anymore or these feelings don't serve me anymore or this way of being whatever it is or it could be people this is really not serving me it's causing me more pain than pleasure whatever um but for some of you i really see like um because the fool literally has nothing it's like completely got nothing to lose and the ten of wands has so much that it's carrying so it's very 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 contrasting you're really letting go of a lot of stuff uh, it could again be internal whatever you've been holding on to or whatever has been difficult for you lately it's like you're finally able to let that go and have this new 
clean slate with the full card. So some of you could just be taking a risk and taking a new journey. All right. So that's that's a good sign for you guys. That takes strength to do that, by the way. All right. A, a new journey going on in your environment. All right. Let's see. Of course, some of you could be moving. Because I did say like packing your bags, what it feels like. But the good news is you're entering a much better um, season period of your life. All right. What's going on in the inner world of Cancerians this week? Mm, what is that? Four of Wands. And what is this? The Tower. So internally, there's a shakeup going on. Now, this can be an epiphany. Um, this can be some sort of enlightenment. The tower doesn't have to be, sorry, it doesn't have to be negative. And actually, because it's paired with the four of wands, it does feel like you guys are really recognizing, um, you know, what you are grateful for, because this is a, re a really good card for like a coming together as two people. So if it's in relationships, that could be where balance is being restored, um, gaining your independence in some way. Four of wands is reaching a milestone inside, which is interesting. It comes through with the tower. So let's see what the tower is about first. Why is the tower here in the inner world of cancer signs? What is this shake up? The wheel. I feel like it's about your purpose. Maybe you guys get some sort of like enlightenment or some spark of of knowledge, you know, some sort of truth that comes in. Now the wheel is also about fate and divine intervention, just like um, and divine timing, just like the tower is. Can I get one more? Why is this? What is this tower? The Queen of Cups and a Page of Pentacles. I and a two of uh, ones here as well. Like it does feel like um it does feel like you're listening to your gut instincts and your intuition to take action on something. Page of Pentacles is like learning something or taking the first step into something new. Which I quite like. The wheel. Maybe whatever you're doing internally to change something. I like it because it creates this tower moment. It creates some sort of destruction, but it doesn't feel bad. It's, it's creating destruction for something to be rebuilt better and more successfully inside. It's like more to do with mindset and internally. What's the four of wands here for? What is the four of wands for? The six of swords moving forward, moving past troubles and obstacles five of swords usually is what the six of swords is moving away from and kind of moving towards calmer waters so really good for relationships and situations like a community around you like having more balance more harmony here six of swords just moving in general towards better times so i don't know what you're doing internally but it feels very very important for your for your growth not i don't feel like you've been your blockage here um, but it feels like this week, some sort of spark happens, some like enlightenment, some knowledge, some truth comes through or it's internal. So something's uh, shaking up your internal world to move you towards calmer day. So again, maybe it's emotional intelligence, emotional maturity, like no longer reacting, you know, but it first comes with the tower. So the sun comes out next. All right. So that's really good. Whatever is changing inside, it looks really, really awesome. Right, let's clean this up and let's get you some advice for the week from spirit. All right, my angels, let's see for cancer signs. What's the advice for cancer signs this week, please, spirit? The high priestess, trust in your intuition, all right, because it's guiding you somewhere. Like behind the veil, the Hierophant, maybe about relationships. Now that they are actually kind of like a divine counterpart, I'm pretty sure, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Right. And this is all about your beliefs as well. It's quite important here as well. So, right. Why is the High Priestess here as advice? Seven of Wands. Creating inner peace. Protecting your inner space. I feel like it's really about making uh, intuitive decisions and also kind of protecting yourself from any of the obstacles that come up. Like it does feel like there's challenges up ahead as always. Seven of Wands does feel like you're up against a lot, but the High Priestess and the Hierophant feels like you have so much faith in what it is that you're doing because you believe it's destiny that regardless of what happens, like you have this inner peace that cannot be like shaken because you know where you're supposed to go. So even if a challenge comes up, it doesn't deter you or make you feel, you know, um, a lack of faith, really. You feel so 
They want you to feel so connected to your dream, to your destiny, to what it is that you want out of life, that you kind of become unshakable. So how does that happen? Well, first, something has to be shaken, as you can see in the tower card. First, something has to be shaken, and it's internal, which is interesting. So of course, I feel like that's different for everyone, but it is coming directly from spirit because they want you to have more faith. Remember what we said earlier? It feels like you have to put pressure on something. Like, don't just accept defeat when, you know, somebody says, no, you can't have something. It's like, well, you're deserving of it. So again, it depends on your situation. Maybe you just ask again or ask for another opinion somewhere else, like with whatever it is, because you will have that ace of pentacles. Anyway, a lot of inner work seems to be happening this week for you guys. But anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for being here and listening. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading and I will see you guys next time. All right.